All right. All right. All right. I don't know if this is actually going to be clear footage or what, but I hope it will be. So, yes, I got quite a story to tell. We got quite a story to tell. Hopefully this food tells that story. Oh, it's actually a little grainy. Why is it grainy? Okay. Oh, well. Um, yes, today is July 20th? 21st. 21st. And wow, oh wow. So. What we, a day. Yeah, what a day. Oh, are you going to? What, what a day. What a day, yeah. She's been looking forward to that half bottle of wine she got from Target because she's a 30. Oh, wow. Because she's a 30 year old white woman um, for quite a while. 29. 29 year old white woman. So, why'd I start this video? Um, one, I want to give you a little sneak peek slash hint of what we're about to do. We're about to head out on a hike tomorrow. I don't know if you can actually see from here. Oh, the store might give you a hint. So, read that store down there. That might give you a hint. And then if I could film out, there's no window behind me, but if I could film out that way, that might also give you a hint. We yeah, it's a little facing the wrong direction to be able to see. Yeah, so we are in, um, as you saw with that, Olympia, Washington. So think of what could be a really cool hike around here and think about what could take us about four to five days. Um, we, ha we had to get permits, um, no bear canister needed. Technically now is supposed to be the best time to do this hike and we got super lucky. So I think that's more than enough hints. I think many of you will get it, what we're about to do. So yeah, I wanted to do that to let you all know that we're about to go out on another cool hike. I'm really excited for this one. I think out of the hikes we've done in the past month or two, this is the one I'm most excited for. One, prime weather is gonna be like 70 degrees, 60 degrees up there. Um, sunshine, mosquitoes might be a little something something, but that's okay. This is the one I was really stoked for. You should just tell them what it is. No, they have to figure it out. They have to Sherlock Holmes it. It's a Don't say it. wonderful trick. Okay, that was weird. The phone froze. So I wish I could also film this phone while I'm filming her, while I'm filming this phone, because I'm going to go through the spiel of what happened today. I think that was enough <laughs> hints of what we're about to do. I didn't really stick with a lot of these road trip logs because I honestly thought it wasn't that interesting. I doubt many people want to see us drive a car, which it seems to be we're doing a lot of lately. I doubt many people want us to see us staying at a campground. We're staying in a hotel tonight, um, cheap hotel, because sometimes we're staying in a hotel for shower and You're getting honestly, off topic. We needed a base camp. What honestly, happened today? Yeah, honestly though, look at this view though. Actually pretty beautiful. So what happened today, let's start at the desk. The morning started at the desk. Started working, started doing some stuff, and one of my jobs this morning, or one of my pieces of work that I had to do was transfer all my sensitive data from my phone to handwritten. That's probably because I have fear issues and trust issues with um, technology, but I wanted to transfer all my note apps and my password stuff handwritten to, into a journal because first order of business for our chores today before we started hiking was get a new phone. Uh, my old phone cracked and I was close to a free upgrade. I just had to pay uh, a few months off of the old phone which I did, so got a new phone. Don't know how it's gonna transition with the camera, whatnot, but that was okay. Had to sit in Verizon for about an hour, hour and a half. Got back here, that was about noon. Had to spend from noon to one o'clock doing this, um, since they don't transfer it over for you anymore, which is super weird. So Magpie got me a new wallet, which was really nice. And Magpie said it stressed me out, which I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, this is not okay. I don't know what's going on, but my new phone that's supposed to be better, it has glitched twice when I've been trying to film about three minutes of video. So that's a joy. But anyway, let's go back to the day. So, here was I. Transferred phone stuff. Had to do all that stuff. Um, actually pretty easy, straightforward. About one o'clock, brought us to, and we needed to start heading up towards Seattle because Magpie really wanted to go to use gear 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 store can't talk and i also want to eat um so i'm like okay yeah poke around at a used gear store i'll be fine it was about an hour and a half one way hour and a half back which would turn out to not be true but i digress for now let's just go up towards seattle so we started picking our way up to seattle did some post office errands use ups errands and then it was about an hour and a half drive up to seattle or a little bit past to a little store up there called Ooh. What was the store called? Wonderland Gear Exchange. Uh-huh. 
And then we also went to Ascent Outdoors. One of those is a hint. I'm not going to tell you which one of those is a hint, but one of those is also I'm trying a to hint. convince Constantine to buy a new pack, and I thought if we went to a used gear store and found an ultralight pack, really, really cheap, he would buy a new pack for the one that's like absolutely shredded, but he's real stubborn and he doesn't want to get rid of it. And we didn't find an ultralight pack. But there is a ULA circuit in a size small at Wonderland. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, someone in the area is so inclined. I'm not getting a used pack until my pack is broken, completely broken, and doesn't just cause me pain every step. So, yeah, we toured around. Um, I found actually a new pair of Ultras for like 70 bucks, which was great. 77 taxes included. Brand new pair, which was awesome because they were a rep pair, or I don't know. They were a sample called. pair. Sample pair. So, that was fine. And then, then we got into some good stuff. So, we're like, okay, by the time we start, stopped shopping, it was like five o'clock. Like, okay, if we start making our way back, we're gonna stop and do some resupply um, for tomorrow. So we'll get back here at like 6.30, resupply, be back and set back in the room by like 7, 7.30, because we're both old men and women and um, we need our sleep sleep And we have stuff to do. And 7.30 is real late when you're doing uh, early bird specials at diners, which is my joy. But we didn't go to a diner, so we didn't eat. No. Nope. Magpie's actually about to eat we now. Eat. So, we started driving. Well, South uh, first of all, I suggested that we eat first and let the rush hour traffic clear. And you were like, no, no, let's just get stuff done. It won't be that bad. Yes, I did say this. I did say this. That was a poor choice. Yes. So, we started driving. And as soon as we started heading south from the gear stores, what was the area? Burmap area? What was uh, that community? Burrard Street. Burrard Street, Street. yeah. As soon as we started heading south, extreme traffic. Honestly, five o'clock makes sense. But what didn't make sense is the traffic continued until 20 miles north of Olympus. Olympia. Olympus, mountain, like the Zeus god, Greek gods. Rome gods, Greek, Greek gods. gods. Yeah. Um, that's nuts. We were in traffic for like over three hours. Yeah. Trying to go, I don't know, 70 miles. Yeah. It was. 15 mile an hour traffic gridlock the whole way yeah from seattle to olympia basically it was not okay and the reason why we started debating it is like yeah you're gonna have rush hour traffic you're gonna have congestion on that road when people get out of work but what happened was so first the i-5 had pile up after pile up of pile up not pile up but car accidents that caused backups and then couple that with rush hour traffic super bad but then Google Maps decided to bring us to another road. I was uh, like, take the 405, it'll save you 45 minutes. And we're like, okay, obviously we will. And just as soon as we committed to that road, there was a car accident on it. Yeah, and then another car accident, and then another car accident. It was Looney Tunes living. So, Every time we would get out of one slowdown zone, it would like pop up and be like, there's an accident ahead causing a 20 minute slowdown. <laughs> and we'd be like, fuck. Every time. Okay, I just want you all to know that these are not editing jumps. From my from my personal choice don't worry I'm not editing these videos I don't edit I will always promise you I don't edit on this channel don't edit I think you should know that by now it's the phone keep on shutting me off I don't know what that is maybe there's a timer in this new phone maybe there's something wrong with it I'm gonna chuck it into a lake just got it saying I'm gonna chuck it into a lake so what I was trying to say before it really cut me off is we're gonna start pe why is it grainy phone you need to do better so we're gonna start packing up our stuff this is super weird it should not be this grainy we should we're gonna start packing up our stuff um breaking down the boxes i gotta stop stop filming because so yeah, really yeah still a lot of chores to do but i want you to know that we got chicken cookies mac and cheese cake ranch and i gotta figure out what this phone is about so yeah. don't tempt me phone i will chuck you in the water that is the fourth. Keep playing, phone. Keep playing and see what happens. I have access to a lake. You keep playing. It's going to go down. It has now done it five times. And I'm going to stop complaining to you because this turned in. This was supposed to be an announcement episode. And it turned into me complaining about life things. Y'all have bigger problems than, I mean, phone not working and traffic. And I don't know what I'm saying anymore. So I'm going to stop it here. We're gonna go hike tomorrow. Maybe find the phone lord. I don't know what I'm saying again. Eat something. Yeah, it's time to eat.